so let me use this which is, which is quite brighter so we're giving um, if x minus sine x plus 10 cosine of 5x so that is what we use. so and this 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 is this is kind of very interesting it's like we are doing almost the same thing again and again and again and again now looking at this we have different terms this is first time is 8x next one is sine of x and the next one is cosine of 5x that's what we have now to find the annihilator i'm going to find the annihilator of each of them and then multiply all of them together that's going to be annihilator of the whole of them so now for 8x so like i said we don't really need the x the, the, the constants there is the x we need so the derivative in the power here is one the operator is going to be two and then sine of x, we just found it here that the the, the, um, the annihilator is the annihilator is d squared plus one. Now for this side too, we have cosine of five x. Cosine of five x. So the thing is that since cosine of five x falls into this category, e into alpha x into c one, cosine of beta x plus c two, sine of beta x. I'm going to write cosine of five x in this format here. So how do I do that? Since I do not have any exponential term, so it's going to be e to the power 0x into c1 cosine of, so this is my beta anyway, so cosine of 5x plus c2 sine, sine of 5x. So now the next thing is, this is going to be equal to this. We know this goes to 1. So if this is 1, and this is zero. Now, when this is zero, this whole thing here goes to zero. But when this is one, we still have a cosine of five x back. So the next thing is, how then do I recognize alpha and beta? So this one here, when we compare the two of them together, when we compare these two together, we observe that what we have here is going to be our alpha, and then what we have here is going to be our beta. In other words, alpha equals zero and beta equals equals five. And then don't forget that this is gotten from the solution of an auxiliary equation of this form, alpha plus or minus i beta. So similarly like we did initially, this is going to be gotten from m equals alpha, which is 0, plus or minus beta i. That's 5i. So, and then we said this is representing two things. The first one is m equals 5i, and then the next one is m equals minus 5i. So you might want to write it again as an equation. Like, so this is going to be m minus 5i. It's an equation anyway. So, And then the next one is you, when you bring this to this side, you have m plus 5i equals 0. So when this gives you 0 and this gives you 0, then the product is going to give you 0. That is to say, this implies that m minus 5i times m plus 5i would give you, would give you 0. So when you expand this, what you have is m squared plus 25 equals 0. Now this is the auxiliary the auxiliary equation. This is m squared. So to find the annihilator operator, we said we replace any m we find there by d. So this is d squared plus 25. Now this is the annihilator of, of cosine of 5x. Of cosine of 5x. So now we now have three different annihilators. This is the first one is d squared. Next one is d squared plus one, and then lastly we have d squared plus twenty-five. So therefore, the annihilator of this whole function, which is eight x minus sine x plus ten cosine of five x, is going to be the product of one, two, and and three. So that is to say, v squared into d squared plus one into d squared plus 25 is the annihilator of 8x minus sine of x plus 10 cosine of 5x. That's the annihilator of that function. And then lastly, we're going to consider the last one. We were told find the annihilator of e to the power negative x plus 2x e to the power x minus x squared e to the power x. So I'm going to call that, um, that's part e. So the function is e to the power negative x plus 2x e to the power x 
minus x squared e to the power e to the power x. Now again, what you'd observe is that what we have there are different quantities. So you have the first one is you have e to the power this, but then there are two ways you can you can look at this. This is this is of the same family anyway. This is e to the power x and this is e to the power x. So you observe just observe the transcension here. You have um, you have it going from this is one, and then now it's two. It's two here. So one, two. It falls in the same family. In other words, it falls in the family of C1 e to the power x plus C2 x e to the power x plus C3 x squared e to the power x. They fall in the same family. So the reason why I said they fall in the same family is you observe since there is no e to the power x term here, so a special case is when we consider C1 to be zero. And the next one here is when c when c2 equals 2 and then when c3 here equals negative 1 you see they fall in the same category and then we recall again that this since the power here is 1 so this is going to be from the solution is going to be m minus 1 to the power 3 so since the power here is 2 the multiplicity is going to be 3 so it's gotten from this uh, auxiliary equation and then since it's gotten from there so that implies that the and in later it's just going to be d minus 1 to the power 3. Now that's for this that's for this side here. Now let's consider the next one, which is e to the power negative x. For e to the power negative x, so we observe that this is it falls in the category of c1. Permit me to use this, this constant, I'm just repeating them. <laughs> so c1 e to the power negative e to the power um, uh, let, me, let me say m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x. So it actually falls in this category here. So so here it's like saying um, where one of them is this is this is this is minus one here. So I could just say this is m plus one equals zero. So it's like it's gotten from here. So to find the annihilator here we place our m with d so that's d plus one. So d plus one is the annihilator of, of this function here. So since d minus one cube is the annihilator of, of this of this function that we have here and then as d minus 1 cube and then d plus 1 is the, is the annihilator of e to the power negative x then the product is going to be the annihilator of the sum of all of them so therefore d plus 1 into d minus 1 cube is the annihilator of e to the power negative x plus 2x e to the power x minus x squared e to the power x. So this is the annihilator of these whole functions here. And then that completes the problem.